So today guys, I'm going to be unboxing the Creator Gamer Streamer $299 12 core 24 thread CPU, the Ryzen 2920X. Just like the first generation Ryzen CPUs, all you need to do is rip right here on this over-engineered box. Very beautiful box, over-engineered, but overall this is going to make a great display unit. So I'm going to carefully rip right here, and here we go nice and gentle because I am going to use this in my display case just because it's such a beautiful work of art. So here we go, let's go ahead and start ripping, and as easy as that guys. Okay so the way to open up the case, now what you want to do is slide this little slider forward there we go. As you see, there is a little pepper, uh, paper mechanism holding the lock from opening. So really easy. All you need to do is pull that straight out. There you go. And you just slide it straight forward. Now, just open up the case. It slides straight down like that. Pretty nice. And look at the beautiful design in this case. It looks like some type of crystal rock. I know AMD for the Ryzen Threadripper, we're going for a heavy metal look. I think they definitely got it with this. And here's your accessory box hidden on the bottom of the case. Very nice looking accessory box. Just going to put that to the side. And now for the CPU itself, the Ryzen 2920X. This is a pretty much entry level into Threadripper, and especially with the discounted rate at $299, you can't really beat that at all. Especially if you're a creator making some YouTube videos, or if you're a YouTube streamer. So let's go ahead and put the case back together. I am going to be using this case in a display unit, so I'm going to go ahead and make it nice and neat. And let's go ahead and put it up out of the way. And this is where we'll be staying for the majority of the time. Not too bad. Let's take a closer look at the beautiful Ryzen Threadripper box. Overall, compared to Intel's boxes, they definitely blow them out of the water with the art design implemented into this box. Definitely a really nice display unit. Not too bad just for a box for a CPU. So let's go ahead and take a look at the internal parts of the box. We got the Ryzen hard case holder right here. Definitely really good if you're going to be building the CPU. You can put this to the side so it doesn't get damaged. So the way you pull it out of here is actually pull up right there on the lip. Just like that, you're going to pull straight up and slide out. And there it is. Make sure not to touch the back because the grease can definitely mess up your Ryzen Threadripper. Look at that beautiful land grid array on the back. Nice and shiny. Lots of work went into this CPU. And it's huge. My hands are huge and it's about half the size of my hand. So let's go ahead and put it back in the case for protection since we're not building this unit today. So again, we're going to do the opposite of what we did. We're going to go ahead and slide it back in right here, nice and careful, and just clip it in place. There you go. Let's make sure it's clipped in place. Let's going to put the hard shell back on and just put it out of the way so it doesn't get damaged. And not bad. Nice way to store your Ryzen Threadripper. Beautiful way to store your Ryzen Threadripper in a safe way. You can put it out your way, build your computer, and not have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So there's your, AM, uh, your Ryzen badge right there for your case. Not too bad, pretty cool. Definitely would probably use that on my case. And a bigger sticker maybe to put on your car. <laughs> and again, warranty and whatnot right here. Nice little paperwork, it's kind of see-through. And the most important thing you can get out of here if you don't have the thread tool, this is what you're gonna be using to actually thread it into the motherboard socket. So. Not too bad, thank you Ryzen for actually including this type of tool. You can definitely use it again and again. Nice tool to keep in your toolbox. And this is for the all-in-one coolers. So you can go ahead and put this on most all-in-one coolers to actually make it a TR4 compatible. And that's pretty much it guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at what was in the box. So there's a Ryzen Threadripper 2920X. Beautiful, not too bad. And then the accessory box. So not much comes in the box itself, but the box itself is very nice. So definitely that's a keeper in its own. 
So guys, this was my video unboxing of the Ryzen Threadripper 2920X. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos on actually making a workstation computer. That's going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned guys, and please if you're not subscribed, subscribe, like, share, and comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Ghost Fit Miner out.